So apparently the second season of the Rings of Prime is going to contain the Doors of Moria. And according to some people, this is going to make the show more lore accurate. Yes, hi everybody, and welcome to yet another video. Well, there's a lot to unpack here, isn't there? Or is it? Well, we shall see. Welcome to European law, my dear friends. Your trusty central European who always goes against the crowd. But I think that in this case, most of us will agree that uh, this is something to be laughed about for the months to come. So apparently, the Rings of Prague season two is going to contain the character of Narvi and subsequently of course the doors of Durin the doors of Moria that uh, he was a co-creator of uh, along with uh, Celebrimbor yeah uncle Celebrimbor that we know the Amazon's version already and uh, many people have joked that uh, you know he looked like an old lady just uh, coming out from a hair saloon. Yeah, I I do have to agree with this particular uh, description. But now I'm sure there's going to be a lot of comments, uh, but uh, I will address it later. So first about the fact that. Uh, Kevin Eldon is going to play Narvi. If you want to see Kevin Eldon, uh, he, he is a tremendously good actor. Go and watch Hot Fuzz or any other movie with him. But I do recommend Hot Fuzz the first. It's, it's a part of the Cornetto trilogy. <laughs> I mean, some of the most fantastic films, uh, British comedies, especially the first two, Hot Fuzz and Shaun of the Dead, you will laugh your bottoms off. If you love parody, if you like true, unfiltered British humor, if you like Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, if you like uh, Kevin Eldon and uh, other great British actors, do watch it. They are fantastic. It's worth getting on physical media. Just get yourself a good cup of tea or a good cup of coffee. Go watch them or re-watch them if you haven't seen them yet. That is one of my recommendations for today. But now back to this. Um, yeah, I mean, so he's going to get a check. People are going to laugh about how much they're going to crap on the character of Narvi. And uh, how much silly his relationship with Celebrimbor is going to be. Uh, it might even top the uh, absolute circus they made around uh, Elrond and uh, Durin the fourth, And then the Doors of Moria. Now, of course, uh, there have been some people saying... All right, it was mainly uh, shill media websites and uh, shill groups and fan groups like the one that brought us this news. And uh, that uh, this makes, like, season two more lore accurate. Uh, yeah, if, if, you, <laughs> if you think so, you haven't been paying attention. Now, uh, I just, just honestly, I believe that a lot of people are just getting tired of this, talking about it and repeating themselves over and over again like uh, a complete nitwit. And honestly, if, if you can't get through to people like for a millionth time bringing up uh, good arguments based on data and facts, there is probably most likely something seriously wrong with the cerebral capacity of the people you are trying to get through and you will not get through them. Shall I remind you, and I'm talking to, I mean, you know what, in the end, I don't think that those shells really believe it. I think that this is just simple shilling. Do you know, do you realize that most of the shells are not really shilling, like, for honest reasons? but for cloud and attention and clicks and likes and retweets. Oh, yeah, and by the way, the guy, um, Kevin Eldon, also played masterfully in uh, a, an episode of uh, Black Books. <laughs> go, go watch that as well. Black Books, one of my favorite TV shows, uh, British sitcoms of all time. And uh, so, the, yeah, the shills. They are shilling, you know, for clicks and likes and retweets. It's not even paying them any much, you know, money. I mean, they might think they will get more subscribers and then subsequently get more revenue. 
but it's like really it's very temporary it is very temporary it's a it's like with everything today so there is like a sensation in hollywood or on streaming services and uh, that's why i know all the youtubers and influencers out there and i don't care what political uh, side you're on especially if you are an an american so don't even bother bringing that up in my comments like oh he is He's conservative. He is good. I don't give a flying toss about who you are or what you are. If you are a bloody grifter, you can sort off. So that's why all the influencers are making all those videos like every week about something else. Covering like, oh, this this week is Barbie. Next week is going to be Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles race swap of April O'Neil. Because that's the current thing. And the Lord of the Rings, the Rings of Power has not been the current thing for a couple of months. That's why people haven't been talking about it. It will become a slightly current thing once the second season comes out. Because it's going to be completely atrocious. And of course, I'm going to be laughing about it along with everybody else. Because it's fun to make fun of idiots. (laughs) So, shall I bring up the other instances in which the Rings of Power was supposed to be uh, lower accurate. All right, then, shall we, I don't know, mm, bring up Mithril and the fact that it was apparently discovered by Amazon's original character, Disa, who stole the name Dis and changed it a little bit, the mother of Kili and Philly, who was uh, the daughter of uh, Durin the Fourth, who was only mentioned as a name in the books. And his father is in the show also named Durin. And that's absolutely nonsensical because there were no two Durins living at the same time in the history of Arda because they believed, the dwarves, that each and every single Durin was like a reincarnation of the previous Durin or of the of the original Durin, the one of the first uh, dwarven kings. Shall I bring this up? And the fact that it uh, works as a life potion to elves and leaves at the same time and that it uh, apparently contains the light of the one of the last Silmarils. That's a pile of donkey manure if I have ever seen one. Oh my god. And then, then, then the creation of Mordor, which of course was... I mean, there is nothing complicated about it. Mordor was created by Morgoth at the beginning of, you know, the creation. Full bloody stop. What else do you want to say there? Well, apparently Amazon had a lot to say. <laughs> when they made um, an old feller turn the key and uh, make make uh, a, a volcano erupt or I mean yeah by actually uh, what breaking a dam and then the water flew into the volcano I mean you know flew into the volcano and the volcano erupted and thus Mordor was created <laughs> and I mean like it's filled with the, with nonsensical things like that so what do you think they're going to do to uh, the door of Moria and to Narvi and to uh, other characters that are going to appear in the Rings of Prime season two, like Celeborn is going to be there now. So yeah, I mean, do, do you know what? Do you know what this is? This is video content for a lot of YouTubers for months to come. Right then, let me know in the comments down below what you think, and that will be all. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, Namarie.